In this video, we show you how to get started with the SE050 support package and the K64F board. First, we start by unboxing the SE050 Arduino compatible development kit. Now, we mount the SC050 board on top of the K64F board using the Arduino connectors. We can use the jumper configuration, which comes by default in the SC050 board. After that, we go to the SC050 website and review the product documentation. You can refer to the application note called SE050 Quick Start Guide for Kinetis K64 to find the detailed instructions of the steps shown in this video. Now, download the MCU Expresso IDE from the NXP website. Then, follow the setup wizard until the installation is completed. Make sure you allow the installation of the additional drivers required. The next step is to get the SDK for the K64F board. For that, we use the MCU Expresso SDK Builder webpage to generate and download our customized SDK for the K64F board. After downloading the SDK, we import it into our MCU Expresso workspace. We need to update our board with the latest OpenSDA application. We can download the latest version from the NXP website. Then we start the board in bootloader mode. While connecting the USB cable, we keep the reset button pressed. We release it after one second. Next, we drag and drop the binary file into the bootloader drive from our computer. Unplug and replug the USB cable. After preparing the board, we need to install a few software tools. First, we install CMake. Download the latest release and simply follow the setup wizard until the installation is completed. Once the installation of CMake is finished, download and install Python 3.7 32-bit version. Now, go to the SE050 website and download the SE050 plug and trust middleware. We open a command prompt and go to the directory where we have unzipped the middleware. From there, we run the env setup.bat script to set up the environment and then run the create CMake projects Python script to build the SE050 project examples.
After that, open MCU Expresso and import the SC050 projects into your workspace. Select the CMake project for K64F, untick Copy Projects in Workspace option, and click on Finish. Now, to run the example, attach a USB cable from the computer to the K64F Open SDA Debug USB connector. We go to our MCU Expresso workspace and we edit the CMake compilation options. Then, we read the list of test examples in the console window. After that, we edit the make file and we modify the build target variable with the name of the test example to be executed. Next, we configure the terminal application to output the project logs. And finally, in the MCU Expresso window, we click on Debug and we wait a few seconds for the example to run. As soon as the project starts running, the logs appear in our terminal application. For more information, go to www.nxp.com slash SE050.